and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bitumela Magobushani, the creator of the Be Smart Budget, your sister in budgeting, and of course, the self appointed personal finance activist. So, guys, if you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button. And to my returning subscribers, thank you very much for coming back. Okay, um, so today I want to talk about mom guilt and how it affects our finances. And I am going to just get honest. So this is another episode of the Let's Get Honest segment. Okay, um, it's funny how we tend to get very honest on the internet. But anyway, let's get into it. So guys, um, mom, mom guilt, it's, a, it's an emotional state where you're feeling like you're guilty for not being there for your child. You are guilty that you're probably not doing as much as you should. Um, and you, you tend to compare yourself with all the other mothers on the internet and one thing we, we forget is that if you are a surprised single mother like myself then there is some things that or, or levels that you won't be able to get with providing for your child so the important thing is that you you actually try and just spend more time with them or even look inward at what is causing all those things okay so let me give you a back story about how I became uh, a single mother that is ridden with guilt. Okay, so I uh, dated this guy for seven years, fell pregnant, and um, was not really like okay there was someone else in the picture that i had known about but you know how men tend to be like no it's not serious or what 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 you know so i thought okay no it's not serious so even during my pregnancy he's he's assuring you know the first few months of this pregnancy he's assuring and then um five months into the pregnancy he sends me a text and uh he says that he is going to pay lobola for someone and he is getting married uh, so the the mom guilt stemmed from the place of rejection. So when he rejected me, I then thought that he was rejecting my child. So that was the biggest mistake that I made, starting from there, realizing that no, this person was not actually rejecting my child. He was telling me, the mother, that I am Sakfuni, but I will be part of my child's life. So from there, Im immediately, I switched on onto super mom mode, you know, from, I, I had, I, I don't know if you've watched any of my videos where I say how I prepare for a baby. I had to prepare that way for this child because now this man was getting married and the, yeah, anyway. So uh, that is where the mom guilt stemmed from. So uh, fast forward to when Zuri is born, I then start to find myself overspending. I, I try... I tried and overcompensate in all the areas of her life. Like um, with her clothes, I, I, I then opted for expensive clothes. And, and now that I'm thinking of it, I've always justified with that I wanted to buy quality. But the honest truth is I wanted the other party to show that I'm a good, to see that I'm a good mother. Or I wanted to validate myself. Yes, I wanted to validate myself that, you know what, I am a good mother to this child. I do not have to feel guilty about anything. And Zuri doesn't stay with me. She stays with my uh, mom and my great-grandparents. So she is away from me most of the time. So there's also that guilt that I don't spend enough time with her. I only see her certain weekends for a certain period of time. So now let me overspend. And um, I turn to put her, her before my needs. I could be needing clothes. I could be needing that. But as long as Zuri is sorted, then I am the happiest woman on earth. Uh, thinking. Uh, so I've ended up over overspending on her wasting not wasting a lot of money necessarily but for things that i could have bought at ackerman's i went to willie's uh for food uh zuri ate purities she ate um all these fancy baby food that you can find there was not a single day where there was pumpkin for her that was cooked or prepared or whatever zuri ate the the premium food from s26 and you know guys how expensive s26 is um she used Huggy, huggies gold because I've, i i needed to maintain the the image of being a good mother so that is what the after effects of mom guilt has done for me where i find myself overcompensating for this child going far and beyond for this child when I am neglecting myself so 
if maybe you are a mother and i've been led guys to share this video for a while now and i i, I didn't know where to start because i do personal finance content on this channel and i do money content and i'm like but god where does this relate with the money where does the money come in here and then i i, I just felt okay no maybe i should share it this time so that is what mom guilt is and how i had experienced it it stemmed from a place where i thought that rejecting me was rejecting my child so now i'm gonna show you that i'm a super mom i'm gonna show you that i do not need you i'm gonna show you that even with your absence my child can still wear the most expensive clothes she can still um play with expensive toys she can still have access to everything that she wants therefore along the way creating these bad habits now i see that okay this child is really spoiled you know and then they my family loving on her and then also because they, they they were loving so much on her they also spoiled her in a sense Zuri is spoiled yo oh, she is spoiled I, I would not even um imagine <laughs> A child spoiled is that one, you know, and, and I often say, oh, no, thank you. It is blessings from my brother, from my mother, from my great grandparents. Um, but it, it, it's, for me, it was the mom guilt that led me to to overspend on her to overcompensate. But if you find yourself in those shoes, you are a single mother, you are a surprised single mother. You were not ready to raise children by yourself. What I am going to say to the mothers and to the people that I still have yet to have children if you are going to have a child please know that the child is yours to avoid such emotional instability because feeling guilty as a mother or feeling like you're not doing enough for your child as a single mother stems from an emotional instability in your own within your own self and it's not mostly even about the child's needs because if you had to look at the child's needs and you see that okay I, 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 they, this child has a caregiver, they have everything they have, you wouldn't then ha have to feel guilty because you are understanding the season that in this season I do not have the capacity to take care of my child. I do not have the capability to stay with them or the means to, to stay with them, but there is someone that is primarily giving them the care and the love that I would have given to them. So if you get to a place where you understand that, then you can come out of the emotional emotional instability or the mom guilt okay so there is actually a few points that are that was uh that i come across when i was trying to get out of the state of the slump of being of mom guilt and the one thing is you have to keep things into perspective as i had said understand the season understand um the reasons why they are surely valid enough for you the fact that you're not staying with your child it's valid enough or the fact that you cannot give what you desire to give is valid enough as long as you give the important things which is shelter clothing food and and education so I, I don't see why you have to go through the process and then the second thing is remember that there is no right way to do the things you to do things you have been given um you you are facing this um the situation at the moment and there is no right thing to do parenting there is no manual for how to grow kids we are all trying to navigate ourselves so the less you look out on the internet and compare to other mothers and all of that it, it is the more peaceful you will get just understanding that this is my way of raising my kid this is how i am able to raise them at this present time and that is enough and then the other thing is you set your own personal standards uh, as i had said make sure that you take your time you look at how things are how you you are capable of doing things uh, how are you able to do things at that time and then you do that so that should probably be able to assist you in getting rid of this mom guilt that you have set your own standards for yourself and for your child and um children are, are beings that when they are given love they grow they, when they, they and they they do as long as i i always say sorry i always say that the child must know who the mother is the child must know who the father is and the also they must also know the caregivers who they are and what role they play in their lives in that way they 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 recognize everyone um in their lives as they should 
okay and then stop comparing to yourself as i said look at your own lane look at how you are doing this parenting forget about the friends forget about the mom influencers on instagram on youtube and just focus on yourself and then remember that life is not perfect don't put pressure on yourself do things as you uh, as you are able to and you can afford and then practice self-compassion be compassionate with yourself take take things slow take care of yourself to, because you cannot pour from an empty cup so if you are a mother and um you do not you you have not shown yourself compassion you have not can taken care of yourself like me where i for the longest time i've i've, I've put zuri before anything else zuri before anything else i remember there's this one particular saturday i was like i'm not gonna go home i'm actually gonna stay here i'm going to create content i'm going to read books i'm gonna catch up on my studies and then my, i phone my mom and the child is crying i got in the car and i drove home and then i realized on the way that um these are the difficult things and guys for the past three years zuri is three now whenever before i i used to take public transport but whenever i would get to my place here in coxford i would bawl my eyes out because i felt like why am i leaving my child why am i leaving her behind she needs me um uh you know i need to be there in her life you know so that was the hardest thing and even now i've had before i actually uprooted this and i i actually worked on myself and i actually started being compassionate with myself and giving me uh, and giving myself room to understand the season um or even handing it over to god you know before that i also used to drive crying from my child because i'm like i'm, I'm leaving my child um and she she's grown now so she is also crying when i leave and before she never used to cry but now she's gotten to a stage where she cries when i leave and it's like yo um, and it used to weigh heavily on my heart, but now it is so much better. So that is why I say you need to discover it, discover the mom guilt, um, and then and then work towards it and be compassionate with yourself and follow these five five steps. Practice these five steps of how um, to look at a, at life at a different perspective as a single mother or even being away from your child and let me tell you something that I've discovered your child just needs your time when you can she needs your love forget about the money the luxuries if your problem has always been money that um, you're not providing enough for your child you need a third job for this or this um, and that has always been the issue for you i say to you the child just needs you to spend quality time with them so make it move it around your timetable whatever make sure that you are giving them enough time um, they can have all the money in the world all the toys in the world and everything but if they do not have the time if you do not spend time with them they are going to feel it and you are also going to feel it so I hope this was helpful to you and I was very vulnerable. <laughs> I hope this is helpful to you guys and um, it will help a single mom that is going through guilt, um, a single mom that is kind of feeling emotionally unstable when it comes to providing for their children. Just know that your child just needs food, clothes, education and a little bit of toys here and there. You do not need to go over and abroad. Um, over and above um with anything that you do for them okay guys I'll see you guys on the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe